Good morning friends. Today uh, we are going to design a, a tool uh, that is a V bending tool uh, using uh, uh, using Museberger catalog standard. So okay. So select the sheet metal. So first we will com uh, design a component, some simple component using sheet metal environment. You select this, then select the new component here so here you will get a new component with uh, all the sheet metal uh, uh, environment here so we are going to design a component with aluminium as our uh, uh, then then okay then we will go here modify sheet metal rules so go here Here you have edit. So let us say thickness uh, 1.5 mm. So I'm going to give here 1.5. And uh, K factor, let me give some different value to 0.33. Then bend conditions, go here, bend conditions say I want uh, inside radius to be uh, something like uh, 4 mm 4 mm so this much I want to edit now save then close next uh, we can turn on the origin here then select the front plane right click create a sketch then draw a small center line draw a small center line here then then select the line press X then draw two uh, angular lines here So I think we will make this uh, this side slightly longer. Okay, this one shorter. Then this angle we will maintain as 90 degree. Then again, this angle we will maintain 45 degree. Then here, let us say this dimension is. Uh, 36 sorry 36 will give 36 and this one will give us 46 so this is the size of the uh, component here then finish sketch now you can select here flange then select the select this now we can define thickness side 1 side 2 or symmetric so if we want to so we will uh, go for the preview then we decide what to do then direction in this direction I want to maintain symmetric then just to drag this so let's say this uh, 15 So if you look at this uh, sketch, this particular uh, sketch is on the top, uh, we want to change the direction to side 2. So because, so imagine that the dimensions are given from the this line. Uh, so we will do like this. Then OK.
so 30 mm so this is our component say okay we will edit the sharp edges also go to fillet So some five mm. So uh, let's say we will make some more uh, modification. Say so. What we will do is uh, we will create a flat pattern first. Say, let's say on this face uh, create sketch So So just I am making some shape to understand the concept clearly So let's say this is our uh, component here. Unfold. Now we have to check the dimension. How much is the dimension? So inspect measure so from here to here. So this is the developed length. We have 78.061. So when we design the tool, we have to consider this this particular. Uh, so note down this value 78.061. Okay. Now next step we are going to design the punch and die. Okay. So let us say so first we will we will change this to solid. Then here right click here new component. Then say this we are going to change this as die plate. then so this origin we will on off the origin here 
so select this origin here then select the front plane right click create sketch now we want to project these edges so just uh, we'll slice it then press P P and select now so this edges we will convert to construction line first then we will x now we can draw the die plate thickness thickness of, of the die plate So let us say this is our die plate. So let me make this horizontal. Then uh, this thickness. I want to maintain something like 30 mm. Then from here, from the center, say something like 60. one twenty so this we will give twenty something like this then we will make the close this sketch So this we will make collinear, this and this collinear. I think we will increase this thickness to 45. This also I think we will edit 75 and uh, this, this into 2. this in the two now uh, let us draw this this line here similarly here also Then let us make coincident. <coughs> then extend. Trim the unwanted portions here. I think we will reduce this thickness to 40.
here we will reduce the fillet to uh, 3 mm so this is the die cross section die plate cross section then finish sketch now we can extrude extrude this this uh, symmetric or length so we will give some value so this we can uh, this is 30 so something like 74 74 okay I think this much is enough uh, now we will uh, make the next uh, uh, sketch that is punch so right click here new component then this is our punch or bending punch does bending punch then let us on the origin then select the front plane right click create sketch slice it now let us uh, project these edges as usual so press P okay now we can draw lines so give the dimension So this we will give something like 16. So this the double of this. And uh, this height from here we will decide. okay we will give something like 50 so this is our punch finish sketch then extrude is also symmetric so this we will give uh, 30 36 So now we have to uh, create the locating elements here. So the developed length was 78.06. So we will consider 78.2. So here, okay, we will activate here. Let me check this component once again. So this. Uh, Here we will check what is the distance from the center to this edge. Inspect, measure. So this is 
sorry not this inspect measure measure from here okay let me check this 34.03 so we'll consider 34.1 okay 34.1 so come here so activate the die plate 34.1 so come here so here create sketch so let us let us make some some rectangle here this is 34.1 then this is Seventy eight point two. This is say fifteen point one. Thirty point two. So something is not right. Uh, let me check once again. Component here. Component. forty four point zero three here thirty four point zero three should be correct. Okay, now we have to make the um, locators so we will just fix some pins for location so again uh, come here uh, okay so this sketch we will edit so double click on the entity and uh, make a construction line then draw circles So let us draw circles. So this we will make all the circle with equal diameters. So we will uh, draw one more circle here. So also equal we will make this also equal to this then tangency relation constraint we will give tangent
then this we will give a vertical constraint so also we'll give vertical constraint this both will give horizontal constraint so the center point also we will align properly then here let us give some dimension for this so 36 so this will give 5 So this, uh, how much we can give? Okay, 28 will give. 28. I think we will uh, increase the diameter a little bit. 6 mm. Okay, finish sketch. Then uh, make a cut here. So minus 10 Now we have to plan our die set okay otherwise we will do one thing we will make the this uh, screw hole also we will plan the screw hole also create point So quickly we will give the dimensions, sorry, uh, first we will give the constraints, constraints we will give, so this horizontal vertical, uh, vertical, horizontal, vertical, then let us say some dimension quickly, this is 10, similarly this also 10 then here also we will give 10 so then we will give a hole so this diameter will make as 6 otherwise we will make 8 m8 then depth we will give something like 30 25 30 will give okay then make chamfer sorry thread we will make the thread first press control key and select then ok then we can make the chamfer
so also we can uh, make the whole through create sketch so let us uh, this we will uh, for time being we will visual style we will change to wireframe then we will project this uh, center points okay so rotate this then press p press p and select this one two all these circles we will project it okay then finish sketch now we will make the hole over uh, all the edges here so this diameter will change to something like uh, 5 then distance all then ok So for this particular punch also we will give the uh, or shall we make the shoulder so let us make a shoulder for this So six so, so we'll give six then coincident coincident this line is coincident with this edge similarly this line also coincident here finish sketch then extrude minus six join then ok let us give some fillet also over this edges So punch die okay here also we will give some chamfer so here so say 4 mm chamfer we will give Now let us insert the die set or uh, we will create the pin for this right so new component this is uh, double pin double pin or locating pin something some name we have to give so I gave the name as double pin so on this face right click create sketch then here we will project it P ok then finish sketch 
extrude Okay, 15 mm height. So here we will give a small chamfer 1 into 45. So this is the locating pin we have. Okay, we'll go here. Now we can You can create number of pins here. So this uh, control C, control V, control C, control V. Then just to drag somewhere here. Okay. Again, control C. So select this. Uh, control C, control V. Okay. Again, select this Control C, Control V. So let us assemble some more. Assemble joint capture position. So at the bottom also we can give some chamfer. So now let us make two more copy, control C, control V, ok, one more, control C, control V, ok, capture position then joint Okay. Now we can uh, we have to uh, 
check the what is what was the size of diplite uh, length and width so first we will note down this so length and width here so this width is 74 then length uh, 150 so based on this we have to select our die, die set so now minimize this then go here then here see this second option here show catalog for die making in this we have different uh, type of die sets available so here we have uh, uh, plates for as such two pillar die set back guiding uh, two pillar die sets diagonal guiding so this uh, plates two pillar central guiding so i think for this particular uh, tool uh, we will go for the central guiding die set okay then go to compose with the wizard before that we have to select the breadth and length so before that I think uh, we have to make one more uh, block that is the punch hole roll so we will make or we'll make the punch hole roll so right so uh, right click here new component then this is our punch holder so punch holder on this face right click create sketch so we'll project to these edges directly right press p so let us project to this point so this point okay this this edge and this edge here similarly this edge and this edge okay four edges we will project then let us uh, similarly here also I will make a small is intersecting line here coincident this also will change to construction line So let us draw a rectangle finish sketch extrude so minus 20 then ok then let us give some chamfer Four into forty-five, and uh, here so here create sketch. So let me slice it. Here again, we will draw a rectangle coincident
Finish sketch. Then extrude. So turn off the punch. So here again create sketch. So both side here I am giving 6.5 so here fillet also will make so this 5 finish sketch then extrude minus 5 so objects to cut here we have to off this then ok so I think that is minus 6 it should be edit feature and give minus 6 Now uh, we will come here we have to find out so our size 74 and 150 so this NL should be 150 150 so we have to find out a size is NL. NL will one fifty and uh, this width here NL fifty is not sufficient. One forty also not sufficient. I think we will uh, go for one forty and we will edit the size of the uh, the plate. Okay, let us select this one forty two forty six. Uh, so this is one twenty six. Then so go here. Compose with the wizard center plate. We don't want any center plate here. 126, 246. The next, so the height here, yes, so 27. Add this, also, we will select the same 27. Add this height, how much it should be. So we will check the height here, inspect, measure from here to ninety. So we will give this as ninety. Then OK. So this we will go for standard type okay this type will go then add finish 
so here select all CAD transfer so uh, by that time what we will do is we will edit the size instead of 150 we will change to 140 so this length we will change to 140 so this we will give 70 finish sketch so this is step format then 3d export then here we will give the die set die set so today's date then save close then so let us uh, activate this uh, main assembly it should be activated then go here data panel then go to upload select files so this select open then upload so here you can see this uh, blue uh, status bar is there here also upload progress so once it reaches here it is complete here it will show action completed complete okay just wait till this also finishes then close so now our die plate is ready die set sorry so this we can drag and drop into our drawing So we have to save this it is uh, telling save the drawing before uh, so save this so this is a uh, v-bending tool v-bending tool save so this is ok no problem so this uh, saved now we can drag and drop this 
into our design so let us move this Okay, so drag and drop this die, die set to your design. Then once it is done, you can right click here, then break link. Now we have to apply all the joins for this. So this bottom side we will uh, give all the joins for this bush and uh, this, uh, this thing. And just uh, let me do that as built to join. So this okay again uh, as built to join here like this each and every element we have to add constraint as built to join So remaining things also. Similarly, other side also we have to give. So uh, everything done. So you can see that this. Oh. So let us give those uh, joined also assembled as built joint. okay so remaining things we will see in the next video okay thanks for watching